is understanding the value the worth and the significance of a person true love is understanding the value the worth the significance of a person or a thing to God to you and to humanity true love is understanding the value the worth the importance the significance of a person to God number one to your life number two and to society number three the second definition of love is love is understanding value thank you for watching Soren daily please like and when subscribe. you pay fifty thousand yes. dollars to buy a car you park that car in a special garage because of what it cost you to obtain it now watch this come are you ready to marry this woman and take her as your lovely wedded wife you said yes they asked her what of you yes two of you and then just because she should she did not she was not able to give you a child listen carefully first month of marriage no child second month of marriage no child or whatever it is all of a sudden you begin to make derogatory statements two men cannot live in the same house so what you are saying is i listen i do not see your worth i do not see your value i do not see your significance to god to me and to society true love is understanding the value of things so when you are doing that business you love that business only if you understand the significance of that business to kingdom advancement the significance of that business to your finances the significance to the development of your society if not don't say i love it why do i wake up in the night and study and prepare for every message and labor through the hours is because i love god is because i love you i understand what this information will do to your life will do to the kingdom will do to your children and your children's children never say you love any lady whose significance to your life you have not perceived let me tell you this look at me everybody if you have any measure of success before a lady or a man enters your life be careful because the more successful you are chances are that you will hardly see the significance of a man or a woman in your life there are successful women who are collecting three hundred thousand as single ladies four hundred thousand as single ladies they are traveling to embassies they have snapped with presidents there is every likelihood that they will be bad wives you know why because based on their experiences almost everything a man should represent has been represented in their success so when they say they want to marry a man they find out that when the man comes and says my food say your your, your what are you crazy i stay in a hotel with 13 towels and servants come and give me this and you are saying i should pound yam for you you are reducing me they say to a village girl the best recommendation for such a beautiful sister is remain single and support the kingdom yes you will be more useful to god it's true that's why paul didn't marry if paul married only god knows the version of pain that the church would have received the wife would have seen her husband less than 10 times in his entire lifetime thank you for watching sorry daily please like and subscribe do it now yes are we together yeah, understanding value i watch relationships and i see how the ladies devalue the men because maybe they didn't read certain things or they have not become certain things yet and you see the communication of devaluation to the men that's not love love is that i perceive your significance in my life why do i love god 
or do i really love god yes i have seen the value of god in my life Aya, for without me ye can do nothing so when i say lord i love you and i seek you i'm not doing god a favor by coming to church when i come to church his word cleanses me and gives me an understanding that programs me for victory it's not a favor to god are we together it is because Vashti did not see the significance of Ahasuerus in her life. So when he said, Vashti, come and flaunt yourself. She said, so I'm now a property. Now, I don't know what he has done, but she has forgotten that that guy is a king over 127 provinces. Brothers and sisters, let's not lie to ourselves. That's a great man. A man who is a king over 127 provinces deserves the honor of any woman who is wise. It's true. So she said well i don't know what you are saying you have money i have money you have the throne i have a beautiful face and he said off you go then it occurred to her that there are all the options it was a choice to keep you the same way you say lord if i don't come for koinonia joshua selma you can't do anything and god will say okay i will raise somebody that didn't even finish secondary school and anoint him is dr paul and Enche that says god will use the calabash to disgrace the pot he will use calabash to fetch water so that the pot will see that that you are being used is not because you don't have holes it's because god is giving you a chance there's nothing called indispensable in this kingdom no one of the biggest unbecomings of people is their vulnerability to feelings for when you become a victim of feelings both your relationship with god and your relationship with life will be shattered because you see feelings listen love is not a feeling love is not emotion love can and should create feelings true love should create feelings don't get me wrong true love should create emotions we'll discuss that later without without emotions and without feelings you cannot be committed towards a person or a project i preach and we run this ministry and do what god is doing because much more than an instruction from god i'm emotionally connected to what i'm doing and therein lies my passion for the work i'm doing without feeling without emotion there is no basis for being passionate but love is not feeling.